Well, Jordan Peterson goes on Pierce Morgan and he talks about the idea of hell and somewhat talking about heaven as well. And I thought it was pretty darn interesting, Jordan Peterson's thoughts on hell, because it's it's not that I've ever heard going to church about what what hell is and how one gets into hell as well. Let's have a lesson here. What do you think happens to you if you do die? Or you had died, what what did you imagine might happen to you? Well, at the, I had lots of moments, moments, years in the last few years where dying would have been an absolute relief. And had that been accompanied by the complete cessation of my being, I would have been perfectly content with that. There are things that are far worse than dying. So, well, so you know, j- just to throw something in here, uh, it would be a relief if you die and you go to heaven that would be a relief but you know in scripture it would not be a re- any suffering here on earth would not be a relief if you suffer eternal damnation in hell like that so i don't know jordan i just want to like mm, okay let's go on here let's go on well if you're only terrified of dying you've hardly begun to plumb the depths of existential catastrophe. <laughs> death, death is you, you just don't have an imagination. What could be worse than dying? Being a prison guard at Auschwitz? But you'd still be alive, even if you were witnessing horror. It's not death that the... Oh, no. Of I'm thinking perpetrating it. Right. You mean... How about how about being an Auschwitz guard? And how about being an Auschwitz guard who really enjoyed his job? How about that? That's worse than death. As far as I'm again, I don't I don't know what Jordan's talking about here. Being an Auschwitz guard that really enjoys his job is worse than death, and I think the assumption is death and hell. Uh, you, you just say what What are you talking about, Jay? Like. Jordan Peterson knows the scripture. Uh, he teaches classes on the scripture. And it's like, you know, you realize, you, you know what scripture says about eternal damnation separated from God. Right. I mean that. No, no, I, I see that. That's yeah. hell, man. Yeah, it's a living hell. That's hell. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. But do you think there so, is, but do you so, think there's an actual hell, Jordan? Is there, is there somewhere that people like that go to, which is hell? Oh, definitely. Now, what what relationship that has to what happens to you when you die? I have no idea. I mean, I don't think any. So, so here's what I thought was really interesting: that Pierce Morgan, who usually does a pretty good job of interviewing people, um, and he did a good job with Jordan Peterson, uh, but he says, "Is there a place where people like that go? Meaning, is there a place for really bad people to go?" who are like prison guards at Auschwitz who enjoy their their job. Where do the really bad people go? Is that hell? And I thought, wow, that is a fundamental misunderstanding of heaven and hell. Because you go, according to the scripture, according to the scripture, you go to hell not for being a really horribly bad person. You go to hell because you have sin. And because of sin, you will be separated eternally from God. It doesn't matter if it's small sin or if it's horribly large sin, like the prison guard at Auschwitz. You, whatever sin that you have, if it's not washed and covered by the blood of Christ, then you will be going to hell according to the scripture. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. And so I thought, wow, what, what a fundamental misunderstanding of what it, hell is not just for the horribly bad people. Hell is for the people who have not put their hope and trust and belief and the Lord Jesus Christ, and who have been covered under his atoning sacrifice for their sin. That that is what hell is, according to the scripture. But then one more thing, Jordan goes on, he says something interesting about what Jesus taught 
what Jesus taught about those who enter heaven, or if they don't, they go to hell. Here we go. One of the things, one of the things I've realized in recent years, for example, is that you are far from that if you're engaging in your interactions with the world in the spirit of voluntary play. You know, and we're playing during this conversation, and Joe Rogan plays on his podcast all the time. And if you're in a playful state with your wife, your marriage is optimized. And the state of play is the opposite of tyranny. And that's why it says in the Gospels that if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you have to become like a little child. So you want... So he's saying the state of play is, is optimal. And that is why it says in the Gospels, this was Jesus talking, that if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must come, become as a little child. No, that's not why Jesus said that, Jordan. And Jordan knows quite a bit about, about Christ and the things he said. But man, this is, is fundamental to the gospel of Christ. That what Jesus meant by, if you, here's, here's the quote from Christ. He said, if you do not change and become as little children, you will never enter the kingdom of God. What he meant by that was a, a child is humble. A child accepts what his parents teach him. Like they don't, they don't, I've got five children. And I mean, my, my daughter's getting a little older now. She's almost a teenager here. But when, when they were little, you know, when they're, and I still have little ones, there, if you tell a child something, they will believe you as their father or as as their mother, but especially as their father. If you tell them something, they will believe you. They don't question it. And Jesus is saying, you must become as a little child to enter the gate. You must believe the father. You must believe what he said. You must act on it. You must accept it with childlike faith. Whatever Jordan's meaning by, yes, this is what Jesus meant. That's not what Jesus meant with that and and i think it would behoove him to to accept the kingdom of god as a little i know he's a very smart man he's got what a doctorate in psychology very smart guy he knows the scripture from the classes that he teaches he knows the scripture i think he is making the fundamental error of what jesus said you must accept the kingdom of god as a little child i mean that was i don't know how much more plain jesus can make it Unless you change and become as little children, you will never enter the kingdom of God. That's good stuff. It was a good interview. So listen, I'll put a link to this in here. Hey, give me a comment. Give me a like. Subscribe to my video channel here. But, you know, with that being said, you must change. You must become as a little child to enter the kingdom of God. And God's kingdom is expanding and it is growing. There are more and more people becoming childlike to enter that kingdom every day because Christ is winning. He is building his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Until next time, this is the Post-Millennial Man.